Hey guys, today I wanna make another quick video. You do know this is the big day. We're gonna get the new Nyx Galaxy around seven and a half hours away. I just wanna make a quickly a video here talking about the video I was doing yesterday because there was specifically one guy that did a lot of comments that I wanna respond to. And uh, it was a video where I made some smartphone talk in, in early May and I was mainly focusing on the Xperia S. And uh, yeah, okay, so okay, so it's uh, it is uh, this person here called Roshak10. Uh, he is uh, basically saying, typical for why don't you demonstrate the phones doing stuff to see performance? Okay, so you mean that uh, try out the browser, try out benchmarking programs? I have millions of those videos up and running, okay? What do you want to see? Do you want to see anything specific? Let me know, okay? If, if you don't speak up, I don't know what you want to see, okay? Uh, you expect us to take your biased word for it. Um, the experience is quicker than both phones. There are many videos to prove. Where are those videos, okay? Let me know. PM me them. You're a path pathetic joke. I'm... I'm it might have an old processor, okay, at least being honest here, uh, but it's still faster than your beloved Samsung. Okay, so you're telling me that my, 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 my processor, uh, my, my, my Exynos chipset in my Galaxy Note is worse than, uh, than, than the, than the processor, the QoCom processor from uh, 2010 in the Xperia S. I, I have you even tried out these phones? Have you even compared them? And I'm pretty sure what you mean with faster, do you mean performance and stuff? I can tell you that my, my Galaxy Note and my Galaxy S2, they really do rape the Xperia S. And it could be the software on the phone, but I mean from stock, when you get the phone, the Xperia S is just shit, okay? It's an old 2010 processor versus a 2011 processor. I mean, it's um, it's kind of sad because this is uh, the Galaxy Note and the Galaxy S2. They got released last year, okay? The Xperia S is a new phone for this year, okay? So it should have some better processors, but it, it doesn't. Uh, okay, you might have an bra bra. You saw you you use around I think you sound you sound bitter and twisted that your beloved Samsung. Of course I'm fucking bitter about Sony. I, I want the Sony to produce some better quality shit because they've done some good shit uh, back in 06 to like 09. They have some killer devices out. I mean, you just look at these amazing color phones here. I remember a lot of people had this uh, bad boy and so many people wanted it. It's the W910. Uh, and it was when Sony, right now Sony has uh, removed Ericsson because they purchased up that like mobile division. But Ericsson, that's like a Swedish telecommunications company. So, so, Ericsson's, uh, with, uh, so Ericsson with their smartphones, they were kind of popular in my country here in Sweden. Uh, but they, they produced some amazing phones back in uh, like around 06 to 09. Uh, they had these amazing color phones, and they, they were really like killer at doing what they were doing. Also, here we have another 2002 phone uh, that I also used the T68i, uh, and it was also a, a awesome phone. Even though the joystick got um, kind of um, sluggish and uh, got um, yeah, yeah, it, the, they removed joysticks in the future because they got broken down pretty, pretty easily. But I, I, I've used Sony phones, okay? I, I've used Sony Ericsson phones in the past, and they were really good back then. It's like Samsung was um, was behind, you know? Sony Ericsson was the killer deal back then. But that you're telling me that uh, there are videos to prove that the Xperia S is faster than the Galaxy Note? Uh, w what? 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 Um, and then you're writing another comment here, whiny bitch, blah blah, so Nixon S, so Nixperia S is the best thing on the market and it kills you. It kills me. Okay, it, the phone kills me. Makes me happy to see you in a sorry state. Okay, that's, that's cool. Yeah, but I mean, I want to see good stuff, okay? I want to recommend things that I love to people and I don't think this, uh, Xperia S phone is as good. I mean, I have too many complaints about it. And you're saying that this is the best thing out on the market right now. Um, have you tried out the new HTC One X? Even HTC's new mid-range device with the Snapdragon S4 processor kills the Xperia S in you know UI performance and everything. Feels pretty freaking 
God and good and fast, so, uh, okay, let's go ahead and continue in another commentary. Sorry to all you Samsung fanboys, but this fellow's reviews are a joke. Why do you even add reviews in your text? In the title, I have the text Tablet Talk, okay, it's a tablet, no, 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 smartphone talk, I mean, or what is the smartphone talk? Yeah, smartphone talk video made a second. I don't even, ha I don't even mention review in the title. So I'm not really sure what you're talking about here. It is not a review at all. Oh yeah, genius. I don't even have review in the title. Just a rant against Xperia S. Well, I was focusing a lot on Xperia S in this video because I felt that I was necessary. I, I, haven't, I haven't been doing some other videos about it, but these, these things that are talked about in this video, I don't actually think I've made that many videos about it, so uh, I wanted to make another video about it. If you think the Xperia S uh, is cr so crap, you, uh, if you really think this pair is so crap, you have said so and forgot about it and focus your attention on the spec of phones. Okay, it, it's kind of I don't I don't get what, what your point what you're trying to get across here. That I like uh, the HTC One X, my Samsung Galaxy Note, and even the iPhone Four is more than like the Xperia S. Okay, uh, the fact that you again again keep ranting about Xperia suggests that you know deep down that it's a great device. And can't bear it. It's like it's one man mission through in its reputation. Uh, it's too much talk here. You just get to the point. Uh, the, the Xperia S is the fastest phone on the market right now. Okay, you are telling me that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a biased guy, but you're now saying that the Xperia is the fastest phone on the market right now. Uh, everything happens pretty instantaneously. You can never try it out a, a, a Samsung Galaxy S2 or a Galaxy Note or a HTC One X or even a HTC One S. I also do believe that uh, almost the HTC One V could uh, perform a better and more uh, nice experience when, when you're in the UI and stuff. You can get a faster... Sony have really dealt a blow to spec race and exposed what most of us suspected that quad-core processing is wasted on smartphones. Is it really? Because um, what from I mean, what what I've heard and what I've seen with quad core is that it provides at least on Android it provides a, a better performance. You just look at the Nvidia Tegra three uh, tablets; they are so amazing, not even close to the lag that you would get on a Samsung Galaxy Tab with the dual core processor. And I've also heard that uh, the these new quad core. The quad core is like more battery efficient than dual core because uh, it usually is a tiny bit of each core and that that should be like better for the battery and also that the Nvidia Tegra 3 is coming out with this companion core that should uh, improve the battery a lot. And then you're saying most people still use dual core PCs for God's sake. Okay, so now you can't compare uh, the architecture of uh, normal computers against, you know, tiny uh, chipsets in, in smartphones. I mean, it's not really the same deal. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, those of you who identified with third idiot uh, and then you spell my name wrong, I use tech junkies who need the latest specs. Actually, I have people from that um, view my videos for various different reasons and uh, they are not used all about the specs. I'm mainly uh, focusing on uh, the Galaxy Note at the moment because I just love the big screen size. But I think that when the Galaxy S3 will be out, um, I'm gonna try to use that phone for a month and uh, play around a little bit with the Galaxy Note's uh, different kinds of um, custom ROMs that's out right now, like this ICS Stunner. Seems to be an amazing ROM right now. I also wanna try it out on the Sony Xperia S. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna see Android 4.0 be released for it. And also the official Android 4.0 for the Galaxy Note. I wanna see it be released uh, here too. Uh, well, sorry to burst your bubble, but maybe in Japan always be better than made in Korea or Taiwan. Uh, Sony implementation of the supposedly old S3 CPU produces better results than what HTC have done with their, all their cutting edge bags. Okay, so I hear a lot of talking here, but I don't see that many uh, like uh, real evidence. I mean, you, you're talking about there, there exist videos that showing off that Xperia is much quicker and better and faster and everything. It's the best phone in the world. I actually think that you is just a Sony fanboy here. Uh, the simple fact is that Sony came to the Android party late. Yes, that's true. And that's why they are behind at the moment. And are you just getting going? 
yeah, okay, so you, some honesty over here, that's good. And uh, that, that's the thing about Sony. I think that Sony, th they were doing some amazing shit, you know, uh, 06, like 09 and everything. Then Andrew came, and I think that, first of all, I don't think Sony is uh, uh, such a, a big company like Samsung or HTC and everything, or like Apple. So uh, they, 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 they don't have that uh, m enough manpower to do things quick. But I think that uh, if they would have focused uh, a little bit like earlier on, 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 on Android, then they would be much more successful uh, than they are today. And also one thing that I noticed is that Sony's high-end smartphone right now, the Xperia S, cost around 500 euros. If you look at other competitors' high-end smartphones like Apple, they are around 600 euros with with uh, there are like iPhone 4s. Same with Samsung, they are around 600 euros for like the Galaxy Note and uh, Galaxy S2 is probably a little bit cheaper right now. Uh, and HTC, same with them, and also think it's like the same thing with LG. They are around like 600 euros for the phone with their high-end device. But why is Xperia S around only 500 euros for a new device? Uh, either it, I, th I think it's uh, that, uh, that that Sony is trying to uh, steal all of the people that want to buy mid-range phones and low-end phones. And uh, when, when people can look at the high-end smartphones from different companies, they will see that the Xperia S is the cheapest one. And um, I, I think that's, uh, that, that's why they are fail failing a little bit if, if you want an extremely awesome high-end smartphone right now. Uh, I mean, if they would just spend 100 extra euros, then they could put in an awesome, like, in a much, much better CPU and then what they're using right now with the Snapdragon S3. And they would probably be able to ship the device with a Android, Android 4.0 from from the beginning because I mean it's 2012, it's a high this the best high end smartphone for this year. It should definitely ship with Android 4.0. It, 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 you know it, it sucks if they would spend 100 extra euros on each device on the Xperia S and would uh, have the same price range as uh, as uh, Samsung and HTC and uh, uh, Apple and all those guys with their high end devices. Uh, they they would have um, have a much much better smartphone right now, and uh, I I think uh, as I said I, I think that Sony's uh, first of all it's a smaller company probably, and uh, that, that they don't they 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 do focus right now on on like the low end and the, like the mid range market of Android smartphones, and then they have the Xperia S, but I mean it's not even close to the pricing of uh, those other guys. I mean 100 euros, that's a lot of money for a, a lot of people, and I'm not quite sure why they didn't fork out. A little bit more cash to implement or put in a better processor and not to maybe just rush out the phone but uh, relax a little bit until they have fixed their shit together with Android 4.0 and uh, so, so you don't get a new 2012 high-end device that lags from the beginning doesn't give a good impression okay and uh, you might you might have a different experience uh, with this phone uh, that's that's totally up to you and uh, I also think that the pricing is lower on Sony's high-end device because they are focusing a lot on the girls I think I mean they they, they totally want to be girls favorite phone and uh, I just want to see a little bit more from from Sony and uh, I, th I think that they can p if, if they focus a lot here on Android they could probably pull their shit together next year and uh, br bring out some phones that has the same kind of pricing as uh, their competitors. Uh, they should do that next year, okay? Um, so, yeah, have an awesome day, everyone. We're gonna get the next Galaxy today, and um, I can tell like this, it, it's gonna be the fastest phone in the world, if, if you are really spec horny, and it's cool, you can be spec horny if you want to, you can be an Apple fanboy if you want to, but please, respect everyone else, and uh, uh, please, you Roshack10, Please send me those videos showing off the Xperia S is the fastest phone in the world and everything that has the best benchmarking scores and everything. I really want to see those things because right now all I hear is a bunch of talking, okay? And talking is nice sometimes, but uh, you, you, yeah, more videos, more evidence that it's the best smartphone in the world. See you.